Greetings. As you can see, what we've done is we've asked Western Digital's idle tool to tell us what the idle timeout is on this 2 gigabyte hard disk. Currently that's set to 8 seconds. So the problem comes when you use that hard drive inside a NAS like this Synology DS1010 Plus. When the Synology isn't writing to this disk or reading files from the disk, the WD firmware will unload the head in 8 seconds. Now that sounds like a great idea to save power and it's how Western Digital do their green or eco drive range is one of the ways they do that is they spin it lower at a slower speed and they also have this idle timer set to unload the head. But the problem with this is your firmware is going to cause you problems with the NAS because the NAS is going to be reading and writing at random times and the firmware is constantly telling the drive to unload its head. The end result is your load cycle count on your hard drive climbs substantially. Now the problem with that is it's a physical mechanism. It's actually unloading the, the read heads from the disk and those read heads are only rated to 300,000. So what happens is you start artificially inflating the mechanical movement and you're going to shorten the life of your drive. So the way you fix this is you go and get the free DOS tool from fdos.org and you download the make ISO commands and you put the WD idle tool into that ISO file, boot off a CD-ROM or USB stick, inspect your SATA disk and reset or in this case I'm going to disable that timer. So basically I'm going to type WD idle 3 space forward slash D which is the disable command and uh, I'm going to do that for all of my green drives so that I can turn off that head unloading firmware command so the idle timer will be disabled and I'll show you that in a moment okay so what we can see is I've run WD idle space forward slash D and it said WD idle 3 timer is enabled and set to 3720 seconds or 62 minutes now interestingly enough when I ran this command on my Western Digital black drive the black drive actually reported the idle timer as disabled running this command on the green drive or the eco drive hasn't actually disabled it entirely but it's put it out at 62 minutes now my NAS is actually set to put everything to sleep at 60 minutes so what's going to happen is we're not going to be artificially unloading those heads all the time which is good um, as you can see I've run the D command and then I've run the R command to report the status and those are easily accessible when you download the WD3 idle tool you'll find all those commands in the text file associated with that device and as we can see here there's a bunch that's like S for seconds R for reporting question mark obviously to show it and there's various error levels it may report as well so I advise you look at that text file just before you run these commands to familiarize yourself with them so that if you do have problems you know what's gone wrong and to perform this again I recommend what you do is you unplug all existing SATA hard drives in your system and this simplifies the WD idle scan so it's not going to find other drives like my Intel SSD or my little Seagate laptop disk I've got in there as a scratch pad so basically I've just hooked in this one disk off the NAS run the command, set the timer and I'll do that for each of my green or eco drives that are part of my Synology DS1010 NAS. So that concludes how you set the idle timer on your Western Digital Green Eco Drives. Good luck. Thank you. So interestingly enough, what I've also found is not all of the green drives only set the timer to the 3200 second window, giving it roughly 62 minutes. Um, this WD 15 EADS which is an older drive with a specific firmware of 00H7B0 when I said disable it actually disabled the timer and we can double check that by just doing another uh, report status on the disk and we'll see that the disk is disabled for the timer uh, another tip you might need is uh, if you're putting these disks in uh, you might want to turn off your AHCI BIOS if you're running an Intel mainboard the advanced host control interface which is in charge of things like native command queuing and other means of performing uh, better does actually interfere with scanning the drive sometimes I've found so yes you might want to turn off AHCI 
and uh, yes, you might have to do the status check on your disk before you make any changes. So interestingly enough, the WD15EADS range was quite happy to disable the timer full stop.